We are here with uh, Wa'ed Atwil, who is a ridiculously high achiever at just 20. She won the Injaz Al Arab Entrepreneurship Prize for the best CEO and the best student company. She is uh, based in Ramallah and the West Bank in Palestine. And she's been here at uh, the Celebration of Entrepreneurship to talk about her experiences. First of all, thank you very much for joining us. Thank you. Uh, how was your session? Uh, it went great. I did a session about my Injaz experience uh, an hour ago, and I think it was very good. So talk to, talk to me about how your uh, business plan A was formulated and B, how on earth you, you, you got, had it submitted to win this prestigious award? Yes, three years ago uh, I participated in one of Injaz Al Arab programs, which was the company program. Um, this program we uh, opened a small business um, in, with a contribution of the private sector. When we were students, um, uh, we were only 17 years old, and we had this, this chance of starting our own real student company. Uh, so we were 28 classmates, and we decided to make an event management company that we call Teen touch. We chose this idea because back in Palestine we do not have any event management companies so we decided to make this special and original company. Um, we used to uh, uh, cater for special events, uh, we uh, organized uh, for special events, we decorated people's houses and other buildings and uh, banks this during is for Christmas, what? Birthdays, we weddings, made greeting Christmas, cards. Whatever. This is for like birthdays, weddings, private celebrations, yes, graduation, yes. And we used to concerts. make our own greeting cards um, and sell our own greeting cards, we sold our own birthday cakes, all these things. And the uh, goal of this whole program was to teach us how to run our business, to learn how to do all the arrangements of running a business from A to Z, how to have stockholders, how to lead and uh, delegate job among all the employees. I was elected by uh, the employees to, uh, for, uh, to be the CEO of this company. And this taught me so much about how uh, uh, to inspire and lead and control and follow up with all the employees in my company. So what was your business plan like? Why, what was it about your business plan that managed to win the award? How did you go about developing a plan based on what your potential market share was, what your growth potential was, what your cash flow was like? What kind of steps did you take to create that and who, do, who did you uh, source help from? First of all, we had 72 shareholders in our company and we started with only $800 because the uh, uh, rules for Injaz were just to do this. And then we had the help of uh, volunteers from Arab Bank. Uh, they inspired us, they told us how things should be done and we started brainstorming. All of the students came and we started to think of the, of, of the idea that we should work on, the things that are badly needed in our community. And we started working on it, we, we, we started right away. Uh, because we only had six months in operation, so we did not have ver very long time to work on this uh, on this um, um, initiative. So we started right away, and we had five different departments. Um, students were distributed among all these departments, and we did have a very good market share because we were able to obtain 200% profits at the end of our um, of our uh, of the six of months. The so that was very profitable. And um, the most important thing about Injaz is to um, prepare students uh, for the real world um, uh, business that is ahead of them. And we started our company while we were in students in, 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 um, in university in, or in college, yeah. in, in school. So that was really important for us because it helped us know what we wanted to do in the future, what we wanted to study. For example, I did not know that I wanted to do business or accounting while, when I go to college. But after participating in Injaz, I decided to go for entrepreneurship because I, um, I felt that I loved entrepreneurship and I discovered that part in uh, me that um, is how to, do, to lead other people and how to run a whole business. So I think that it was a very important experience that, that many other Palestinian youth and other Arab youth should engage their minds in organizations just like Injaz because it really helps them better know themselves and look at life open-mindedly. So what's now? I mean, is the company still going? Are you going to try and carry it on? Or, or what, what's, what's the next business plan for you? Well, now we're, we're all students at college, and just like I told you earlier, um, after participating in the regional competition, we took the prize of best student company, and, we, and I took the prize of best student CEO, and this opened, um, let's say, international doors for yeah. all of us. Um, as for me, I participated in the Presidential Summit on Entrepreneurship that took place six months ago, and I was uh, part of a session called uh, Success Stories, where I talked about this experience, and at the end of the session, I 
I uh, was offered generously by Mr. Leonard Schlesinger, the president of Babson College. He generously offered me a full um, uh, scholarship for my MBA degree at his college. Uh, so I will be going there in two years after I finish my undergraduate degree. And after that, I look forward to working in the United States because I think this will um, give me a competitive edge and it will help me achieve my bigger dream, which is to come back to Palestine and start my own business. Um, I'm thinking of making a recreation and entertainment center for Palestinian youth. Um, it is also badly needed because uh, Palestinian youth face many grim realities and without uh, vibrant places where they can engage uh, their minds and spend their time um, um, and just um, have some, some amusement, uh, they will be faced with more than uh, boredom and idleness. So that's what I'm thinking of doing in the future. So your, your role really is basically, yes, it's entrepreneurship, but it's got a strong social component as well. It's about, it's about making money, sure, but it's also about helping the local community. Sure, it's about making money and it's about enhancing our country, enhancing our image and trying to build better lives for our families. Okay, we're talking about that Palestine must be an incredibly challenging place to run a successful business with all the obstacles that you face. What were the key things that you were able to overcome when you were running your events management company that other Palestinian entrepreneurs can take heart from or learn from? First of all, as students, uh, we faced a challenge that people at first did not believe in us. They did not believe that we as students are able to run a business. So at first, we could not sell our products. Uh, uh, we, couldn't, um, we, we couldn't work in... Uh, in the, in the society that we lived in. But later on, um, step by step, we started to uh, uh, make, them, make them know and that we can run a business and that our business is successful. So I think one of the challenges was this challenge is to make other people, to make our families believe in us and encourage us and just support us throughout this process. Another problem um, was that we were school students, so we had to uh, manage between our school and between this company. So we were able to do very well because um, um, our grades were just fine and we learned new other things and we also learned that academics are not enough for us to, uh, to, 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 to get prepared for our careers in the future. Uh, we need the experience that we can only get through hands-on training and this we can only get it from organizations such as Injaz. So it was really important. What, what tools did you use to actually get the message out there? You said that people weren't necessarily believing in your ability to deliver. How did you market? What was your route to market like? Was it, was it word of mouth? Was it a structured marketing campaign? What strategies did you use? Mainly we used the word of mouth because we were 28 students and each student used to go out and talk to her parents, talk to her neighbors, talk to her friends about this company. People were interested in the idea and they really wanted to see what we can do. So first we started by decorating by decorating places um, uh, and restaurants in town and then people people that we decorated their 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 houses and their stores went on and they talked to other people about us and others started calling us for, to event their 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 uh, to, ma to manage their events and to prepare for their children's birthday parties so i think the um, uh, main marketing tool was the word of mouth through the employees in our company and other people that we first started working with. Okay, what was the most important thing in overcoming that negative objection? The negative objections about, oh, they're just 17. How did you convince? Was it just simply through perseverance or was it demonstrating that you could do this through successful event after successful event? Well, we had the perseverance. We wanted to succeed. We knew that this was a great opportunity and we all, all wanted to work hard on it. So I think we are, were it was a passionate group of girls that were very hardworking and we tried to make other people around us believe in our idea and I think it actually worked out because, um, um, because other student companies are now uh, working in Ramallah and every year there are around seven student companies from Injaz that are very successful. Each company has a new idea and um, we, we started with this thing. We were the first company in Ramallah and now all students are, um, are just doing the same thing. So I think that it was a very successful starting point. So there are more generations of these yes, the Palestinian they are entrepreneurs coming up through the Injaz program and are you still engaged? with that uh, process? Are you still kind of going back and, and speaking to the new, the new generation of entrepreneurs? In yes, I'm, I'm currently doing this. I'm volunteering at Injaz Palestine where I go to schools and give uh, classes for students in 8th grade and ninth grade. Um, and I think I'm doing the same thing that I once uh, uh, um, got from volunteers from the private sector. I'm trying to do the same now. Okay, final question. You were awarded CEO of the year. Why? What was it about your leadership skills you think that won you that award? 
Uh, first of all, I think that um, I had the ability to communicate in a very good way with all the, the members in my team. And um, I believe that um, the success of any business, um, can, we, you cannot achieve success in any business unless the CEO of, the, of this business is able to delegate work among the employees, he is able to communicate well, and he is able to uh, follow up with the work that's done, make sure that everything is done on time and all this. Um, um, I also believe that the uh, judging panel and the kind of questions that we were asked during the panel also made them realize that we did a really good job in learning um, uh, many things about business and about how to do financial statements and about how to run a business. So this experience was mainly about how much we learn and how much we take from it, how, how much we show that we really now uh, know business terms and know how to work or how to run a business. So I think that, um, that when we started this business, we knew nothing about running a business or about entrepreneurship. But by the end of this experience, we had a very wide uh, knowledge and this was one of the main um, uh, important things that uh, led us to success is the amount of information that we got and the hard work that we did. Well, Ed, thank you very much indeed for your time. Elf Mabrook on the scholarship and we look forward to what you're going to get up to next in the region. Thank, thank you. you very much thank indeed. You very much. Thank you.